I'm a kid, cutty, and sometimes I sing. That's not how he sounds at all, but he was like, I'll rap first, and then yeah. boom, hit him with the vocals. On this week's episode, Brandon and I are talking about a concept that we are shooting a video on mm -hmm. called Do It For The feeling. feeling. And you came up with this idea, so I'm going to let you, why don't you, uh, why don't you jam on this? Yeah, man, so... What's it about? Tell me it's how about to the, do it for the feeling. It's about the only thing that ever matters, right? Which is like your state of being now and now and now and now. And not do it in the feeling like hedonistically, you know, where like you just like do drugs all the time. I mean. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Let's I mean, you, you could do that. But like. Do it for the feeling. You should totally be doing math because the feeling. Yeah. The feeling, you know, it's great. But. Don't, don't ever do. Don't, don't do that. Don't do math. I don't know. I mean, no, don't do math. No. I've, I've never tried it, but Dude, I hear. I never understand why. You ever see before and afters of people on meth? It's like hot person and then zombie. Dude, that's what scared me about drugs when I was in high school where they showed like the meth before and after. And I think I was like, oh, like probably LSD, all these other drugs. Like that's what's going to happen to you. Dude, I used to think, <laughs> I used to just lump drugs in as drugs for sure. Like mm -hmm. I thought like, although when they showed the commercial of the girl smoking weed and she just deflated into her couch, I was like, eh, that could be fun. That that can be cool sometimes. See, so you mean I can transform and I have superpowers. Exactly. Exactly. But the whole scars on your face, like zombie thing. No, it's not cool. I don't know. So do it for the feeling. We're not talking like hedonistically, like just do a really intense drug all the time to get high as fuck. Yeah. We're talking about like live your life to get into the state of being that's going to make you feel your best all the time. Right? And so my boy Andy came and talked to our, our group coaching uh our coaching group the other day and he talked about how like when you have two decisions you always have to play them out in your mind you just go like this to your fingers i like this thing and you look at this so like for example we would say like all right yeah, so right now i could go do i could go do heroin or i could go work out right <laughs> what? this is going this right now probably feel really good right i bet it feels really good to do heroin for like a short amount of time Dude, it must feel really good because apparently like 85% of people who do it like never stop. Dude. They never like get, they never not do it again or something. It's serious, man. But if you follow this path, I want to say it keeps on going, you're going to feel really shitty down the road, right? Versus working out, you probably won't feel as good as doing heroin. Yeah. But down the road, you're going to consistently feel better. And so we're talking about this whole picture. Yeah. Dude, before we, can we give a less extreme example, like a more realistic kind of thing with that? Okay. Okay. So like, like food, like cake. <laughs> yeah. Dude, like you could eat this piece of cake. Like you're sitting at, no, no, you're at lunch right now. You are a lawyer. You're sitting at lunch right now with people and you're having like a, a lunch meeting. You're at a nice restaurant, so the food is covered in oil. Let's say it's a really nice gourmet pizza place. So you have the option when sitting down to say, okay, I'm out to lunch right now with my colleagues. I can either choose to eat this pizza, which everyone else is getting, that's loaded with tons of fat and oil and all this, like too much, too many calories, and it's going to make me feel lethargic and shitty when I get back to my office if I eat that. If I don't eat this and I opt for the salmon salad, then I'll probably feel good and then be able to hit my workout uh, later in the evening before going home and I won't feel like shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Th that works too. Heroin, <laughs> pizza, <laughs> awful. Working out on heroin. I mean, dude, you, my life is just a story of extremes. One day I'm in the gym, next I'm in a gutter doing drugs. I don't know. That's that life. But yeah, what we want to talk about is like how, how do you create, how do you optimize fitness for happiness? I think it's a big thing we talk about all the time. Mm -hmm. And this episode, this show is about like living life for that feeling. And the feeling is happiness, right? We want to have happiness as an experience, but we want to experience as much as possible. So how can we optimize our life to make this happen? We want to teach you guys today how to optimize, how to optimize your life for like the best feelings possible sustainably. That's what we're after, right? That's mm -hmm. what we're all after. And I think we get so hung up in society thinking about like, it's about the thing, it's about the goal, it's about the achievement, the objective, when really, fuck that, it's about the feeling. Absolutely. Dude, yeah, like, um, well, like a, a fitness-related example is, like, people think that we, like, are gung-ho, like, dude, hell yeah, exercise, like, let's do it all day long. Yeah. Like, fuck yeah. No, not the truth at all. We exercise because it produces this feeling of, like, when we were in San Andres, we're chilling on the beach, you know, we feel good, we look mm -hmm. good, or we're out to dinner with friends, 
you know, my girlfriend comes now, we go out to dinner, uh, like we get dressed up. You do it for that feeling of like, man, I feel confident in my own skin, not because I identify myself as an exerciser or someone yeah, yeah. who loves exercise. For sure. It's that whole experience. It's like the feeling you get when you're exercising and you're moving your body, like we, the body releases endorphins, you feel better. And then long term, you look sexy and I don't care who you are, like you can't just completely disassociate yourself from that ego. Like it feels good to be sexy. It feels good to be acknowledged by others for the way you look. It feels good to dude, look in the mirror. Said that? Someone in our coaching group made a comment, dude, someone in our coaching mm -hmm. group made a comment about, or the challenge, like are their why? And they were like, you know, they made all these great things, but then they're like, and you know, I hate to be honest, but um, I do it because like I want people to stare at me. And I was like, dude, don't you ever don't ap hate to be apologize honest. for that. Like <laughs> anyone who says to you they don't give a shit at all what other people think is not – that's not reality. That's not true. Like you do – there is an – like to an extent, we do this because other people look at us and say, wow, I want that body. Like I'm never going to sit here and be like, no, that's not why. That's why everyone does this to an extent. You do yeah. it to feel good. But yeah, you want that. Of course you do. For sure. And I'm I'm not going to call anyone out, but there's someone who came on the podcast mm -hmm. months back and they said, I was like, well, what do you say to the person who just wants to like get sexy and feel good about that? And the person said, you know, well, that person needs to go to therapy because they have some serious issues. And so like, that's not a good thing to tell people. Dude. And this is like a pretty big person in the fitness industry. He's like CrossFit dude. And it actually really rubbed me the wrong way. Cause I was like, listen, man, saying that, like, I understand you're trying to be more enlightened, mm -hmm. but what you're actually doing is coming off very judgmental because we're all here having our own experience. And if someone feels good because they worked hard on their body and someone else celebrates them for that, or, you know, their wife or their girlfriend is like celebrating them and like gets more satisfaction uh -huh. because they're sexier, fuck yeah, man, there's nothing wrong with that. Well, and I think like we are talking about, I totally agree. We're talking about like the middle balance of like, you need to have an enlightened perception of the world in order to find things like happiness and realize that your happiness is your decision, not based off of external events. But it's that good mix between like, you need to be, you need to understand that like human and be okay with admitting. I think a lot of people are like, man, if I admit that I want people to, I'm seen as either weak, maybe a little bit arrogant that I care about like what that person mm -hmm. thinks, but I totally disagree. I think it's okay to say, you know what, I want to do something and make myself look good. I want to do it for this feeling that I get when I'm walking down the street and that person looks at you kind of like, damn, like, look at that person. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they're they like, they're taking care of shit, you know? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's the same concept, but, like, people like to wear nice clothes. Like, yeah. It makes you feel good. There's nothing wrong with that. Dude, how many random people do we see in the street and if they're ha they have a good outfit on, I'm just like, fuck, fuck yeah. yeah. I'm like, dude. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You rock that. For sure. So, I mean, when it comes to fitness, we talk about do it for the feeling as in like optimize your life, your experience in a way that you get to feel really good sustainably all the time, which means like you're consistently moving your body and you're doing it in a way that allows you to look the way you want to look, feel the way you want to feel, have the energy you want to have because it's not, it's also not just about the aesthetics. It's also about, well, what happens when you move your body consistently? Like mm -hmm. you feel better, you have more energy, you're more just alive right yeah dude i feel that alive part of that like even when i'm not doing traditional exercise like at the beach we were swimming for like hours and like mm -hmm. wading water and and like i get out and i feel tired but i feel like movement and like dance and stuff makes me feel that feeling like i feel mobile i feel agile i feel lean you know your mood just it helps out that yeah Absolutely. The feeling. So, uh, we get the feeling. Feel the it. World. Feel that. But then also, dude, let's talk about what happens when like you're able to align like that good feeling, that kind of like bliss state, that flow state, being in a good state of mind with the other areas of your life. Like I was watching ASAP Rocky's Suddenly from Noisy last night. Great. And he was talking about, Great yo, series. man, I'm just kicking it with my boys and like, we're doing this no matter what. Like we have so much fun creating music and if other people like it, then awesome. And that's what happens when you start to like get yourself in alignment with what feels good for you. Like other people notice it's like, it's electric, mm, that's a good it's point. magnetic. Yeah, it's like a big 
aura and you get you're more successful like you get money you get you get money you get fame you get girls you get money get bitches yeah yeah, yeah. No, man it's like do it for the feeling man man you get all the things man. well all that stuff happens dude i noticed that like in our business as well in my own life when i feel good good shit happens that's totally true Dude, well, think about it. Like this month, we felt really good this month mm -hmm. and like our business did really well this month. So I agree with that. What about some examples? Because like do it for the feeling, I think, because we're, we're, Brandon and I are creating a video on do it for the feeling right now to really capture. Wait on it. Yeah. To really capture like what, <clears throat> what we mean, like what, like get, to give examples. So for example, I mentioned the beach. Uh, I mentioned walking outside dressed up, you know, with a significant other or a girl or whatever man, whatever. And another one could be like, man, I mean, there's so many, like, let's say it could be the first time, let's say you are someone who a busy uh, business person, let's say you work for a tech startup and you're a VP of marketing. So you give a lot of talks. Mm -hmm. That feeling that you get when you stand up on stage and you are a confident public speaker because you know that you you're dressed up you know you look good you sound good you're mm -hmm. confident all that comes that's why like to me that's why i exercise mm -hmm. i exercise because one day um you know we'll be on stage somewhere like talking to a bunch of people and i want to feel like you know what man i feel good interacting with this crew of people because I take care of myself and they're here to learn how to take mm -hmm. better care of them, themselves. You know? Yeah, for sure, man. And so here's the thing that I also want to get across to everyone is that my feeling or Dan's feeling, like what gives us that feeling may not be the same thing that gives you that feeling. It could be different. It could be very different. And you have to find out what that is. Like explore, get curious, start like finding out what brings you into that peak stakes. We know plenty of people who like doing way different stuff than us and they get pumped on it. And that's awesome. So it's about finding that like juicy spot in your life where like you, you get lit up and do more of that. Like our girl, Sheila, I'm gonna give you a shout out. Sheila getting lit up. This young lady who uh, works with us, our girl, Sheila. I know what gives her the feeling is when she gets on stage and she goes and sings. No, you're good. You're good. I'm Gucci. You're Gucci, man. Yeah. You are so, Gucci. Gucci. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be singing on stage to give me feeling. Well, because I suck at singing. But, like. I don't know, bro. I got you could, vocals. like, take the, you could take the route of, like, freestyle do rap. freestyle rap because you're getting it better at freestyle rap. And then once you're good at freestyle rap, like ASAP Rocky, he was like, I'm a rapper, psych. I'm going to, like, sometimes. I'm a fashion sing. killer. I'm Kid Cudi and sometimes I sing. That's not how he sounds at all. But he was like, I'll rap first and then yeah. boom, hit him with the vocals. For sure, man. Yeah. So, point. Point being is that we all feel good doing whatever we like, right? And there's some people like our boy. Let's give a shout out to Jason, you know? He, Jason B, baby. He blows glass. Jason, like, I personally wouldn't want to do that. You fucking love it, and which he's is amazing awesome. At it. And he's, he's fucking amazing a beast. Um, we got Link Jason. He blows glass. He's in our group coaching program, and he crushes it. And so we all have these like these like bliss states where like we do stuff and we feel really good. And what I want to encourage everyone to do is find that thing and do more of that. And when you do that, you're gonna bring in more people who want to do that with you. So it's gonna be more fun. You're gonna just feel good about yourself. Your confidence is gonna get is gonna increase. You're gonna get better at what you're doing. So it's gonna be even more fun. Like, and we want to bring this into fitness too. Like, the more you like find out what you like to do, how you move your body, the more you do it, the better you get, the better experience it is. Well, but I think do it for the feeling in my mind. I think of do it for the feeling as you're. I'm talking about. Like we're talking about, you do exercise to produce the feeling of when you're not exercising. Like when you're sitting at work in a meeting and you're like, again, feeling confident, you're sitting in class, you're about to give, uh, you know, a speech for a paper or something like that. I don't know. But like in my mind, I think do it for the feeling to me as well. I really want to stress to people mm -hmm. that like they're the big issue at hand here is that people who want to get fit think that to get fit they need more motivation more willpower and they need to like they need to love exercise they need to pretend that they really love chicken and broccoli or like some yeah. bullshit diet like that's what, I, what i'm saying is there is a ton of shit that i don't actually like to do mm -hmm. but i do it for the feeling you know honestly like there are weeks where i'm like no i'll be straight up honest dude 
I go to the weight room. I've lessened it now because like changes I'm making to my physique, but like I've gone to the weight room for the past 10 years because I know what result it produces. Mm. If I had it my way, dude, I would completely stop going to the weight room. Mm. I have no reason to be in the weight room. I don't like to go to the gym. Yeah. But I do it because I know that scientifically this is what it's going to do to my body, which will make me feel better. Mm -hmm. So my whole thing is like you don't have to do it because you love it. You just have to do it because of that thought in your head of like, man, when I walk in the door, my girlfriend looks at me and she's got that that look of like, damn, like you look really handsome or whatever. Like that's the feeling. Mm. That's why I do it. You know, I don't do it because... I'm super, there are people who love, we have Jesse, he loves to run 100 mile races. Yeah. I don't necessarily like to run 100 mile race. I'll dance for like 10 hours, but like. Yeah, but I think he's also doing it for the feeling after the race as well. That's true, yeah. You know you do true. it. That's true. Um, but yeah, but for me, you know, it's, it's different. Like I actually enjoy lifting weights. Like I'm like, I I buy into that whole idea around Arnold Schwarzenegger who's like every rep is like coming. I'm like, I <laughs> I like that. Like that feels good to me. Yeah. So what, you, what we want you guys to understand is like, you know, find out what lens you need to view exercise through. Like, it could be something where you're like, man, I love, like, my bliss state is going to the gym and doing whatever I like to do, or my bliss state is thinking about the result that I get through working out and thinking about how it can show up in different parts of my life because of the benefits I get from moving my body. Ah, so, like, maybe with yours, too, because I see this do it for the feeling. Like, you sometimes go in there and do it for the feeling of, like, man, I'm super stressed. Mm -hmm. And every rep, I'm, like, pushing through mm -hmm. that, that barrier. Oh, like, yeah. like, that's so I'm, like, doing it for the feeling of, like, dude, I, you know when you, like, squat and you get that 10th rep out of uh -huh. the way and you, like, put the weight down and you're, like, fuck. And, like, the 8th, ninth, and 10th were, like, everything that you were really angry about, you're, mm -hmm. like, that's like, number yeah. 8. That one's number yeah. 9. That car, yeah. you know, that fender bender earlier, that's 10. Yeah. And you, like you know, push that for sure. I mean, dude, I do that with the jump rope all the time. Mm -hmm. If I'm like stressed about something, like we run a business, it doesn't matter how, how like much you love what you how do. much you love what you do. There's a lot of shit <laughs> that you have to do that you don't love. Right. <laughs> Fuck yeah. People, a lot of that. customers get angry for whatever reason. It's cool. Things get messed up along the way. But if I pull out that jump rope, I know I can just go as hard as I can and I can move through whatever stress or anxiety I'm feeling. So true. Because I just get exhausted and I feel emotions are energy. <clears throat> so if I can move, I can, if I can expend so much energy, I can move through those, those emotions. Yeah. And that's my experience. I know, I mean, you know, Amy Clover, I know that name. I've heard that name. Like, is that she girl, like think from Austin? I think she's, uh, yeah, she's somewhere, she's Betty's uh, coach, fitness coach. Okay. But her whole thing is like, she gets people through depression through exercise. Nice. I like that. Yeah. So there's like, that's available. Ooh, that's super cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's a cool niche. But we're also well aware that like, some people just want to exercise and eat right. So when they go to the beach, they look fantastic or yeah. when they put on a fitted suit like their their shoulders are, are you know built Capped. out the cap like, they're shit. feeling good they're looking good uh so my vision of like this video we're gonna make as well because we haven't even made it yet at this time well we kind of yeah we have kind of though well yeah we got a lot of footage, footage. um it, super dope with our gopro we got a gopro yeah and it's putting that all together to this ultimate experience of life and i think we're always talking about like when we talk about the ultimate experience of life, it's like the feelings, just feeling good all the time, man. And it's so possible when you give up what we talked about last week, which was the guilt around thinking you have to do certain things. And instead, do the things that make you feel good because you're going to be a better person. You're going to be nicer. You're going to be more loving. Your life's going to be better, yeah. right? Better life. Do it for the feeling. Don't think about, oh my God, exercising sucks. Oh my God, blah, blah, blah. Think about the result, the big picture, the, the, and we're not saying ignore the present moment. We're saying be in the present moment and recognize that, you know, what feeling are you trying to produce in your life? Because this is a pump up session today. It's saying, yeah. I want you, no, I got homework for you right now. I want people to make a list. Yeah, you thought you were done. The top five things that make you feel awesome. Maybe it's exercise. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's spending time with certain people doing certain hobbies. Maybe you used to do them when you were a kid and now you're an adult and you're like, I can't do this hobby anymore. Go back for that feeling. Find that feeling and try to build your life around the things that make you feel awesome.
it's pretty simple. And that's what, pretty simple. that's what we do, right? Yeah. Like that's why we do Zen New Fitness. Cause like, we're like, well, this is the most fun thing we could think of is making movies about being happy and shit. So that's a great way to put it. Like if someone were to interview us on like what we're doing, I'd be like, we're just like making movies to make other people happy and shit. You know, I would say that. <laughs> Dude, that's, I think I say that all the time because that woman just emailed us about the accounting and she's like, yeah, Brandon said we need some helping, some help with accounting and shit. She hit main, she hit knucklehead. All right, man. man. Do it for the feeling and shit. And shit. Find the places in your life that bring you the most bliss and aggressively go after them with your heart and your soul and everything because, man. And shit. No, I'm just kidding. No, heart, soul. Continue, sorry. Yeah, man. Well, I don't know, man. I get worked up over this because we could die tomorrow. We always talk about it. You just made a good post. Was that today? Yeah, the die. What would you say? Uh, just something about, I don't know, I forget. Um, no, it, the first line was like, I something about doing, I do this because, oh, I do this because tomorrow I could die. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I feel, what was that? Anyway, you could die tomorrow, so you might as well just have fun and live in the present moment because this could be taken away from you like that, like that. Not to end all. So morally. the next hug you give someone, really give it to them. Yeah, don't like crush kiss. her unless it's like your ninety year old grandmother, and like if you yeah. hug her too hard, like her bones might. He might snap her spine. Don't kill your grams. Do like one of these, like up under the back, like uh -huh. pat. You gotta be gentle with Grams. Dude, yeah. But other people though, like hug the shit. Hug the shit out of them. Uh -huh. And hug the shit out of life. Ooh. I, I love the That's idea. That's a t-shirt. Hug, let's go on this way. Hug the shit <laughs> out of life. Throw that on the Instagram later. We're out. <laughs>